Hey, what's up, sunshines? Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing well. So now that my um, vlog portion of the video is over, did y'all um, go see Black Panther? Black Panther was good. I'm not going to tell you about it, but it was good. You need to check it out. Um, So, yeah, I went to Bath and Body Works. Just picked up a couple of um, lotions. It wasn't the cream. If you're following me on the Pink Madame page, I kind of did like a poll kind of asking you guys you know what's your favorite scent what are you wishing for because i know sometimes these scents are hard to get your hands on because i know for me i think i was looking for pink suede i cannot get pink suede in either the lotion or the cream so that was one i was still searching for i couldn't still get my hands on it so i'm gonna share with you what i picked up now some of these scents are old but they're like spring and summer scents and being that it's kind of hot here in texas i just wanted to give the lotion a try something not as thick so i got some scents to pair with some sprays that i already currently um so here's my little bag and the rest of these um lotions are gifts so i'm gonna try to start with the ones that i picked up for myself so i got the pure wonder lotion my husband picked up the ones um, that was in the little cellophane bag for me or whatever because he didn't know whether or not which ones was for gifts or not um the next one is sweet pea the next one is into the night now a lot of you guys was telling me to get this which this was already on my list to grab because i did own a body cream to this collection but i ran out i like to wear this at night and i do have a body mist for this and a body mist glitter which was a gift to me and i don't use that very often because they had glitter in it so i got that next um okay rose this is another scent that i absolutely love during the spring and summer and i picked it up okay i think the next items are gifts yeah so I got the Fireside Flurries. This will be going to one of you lucky girls in the giveaway. Next, I got the Bright Christmas Morning. The packaging this year is just super, super cute. I think that was draws me to a lot of, you know, since, if that makes sense, I go towards the packaging first. <laughs> So, the next was Strawberry Snowflakes. So, I got those three scents to give a giveaway with. I'm going to pair with a couple things or whatever. So, make sure you are subscribed. Um, did y'all pick up anything from the sale? I think I posted on both of my pages, Live to Shine and Pink Madame. I try to always keep y'all updated with sales. I know I had one person ask me, was I sponsored or... Um, branded with them no i'm not i'm not i just like their products and i know a lot of time people are not signed up for the emails to get um alerts or whatever about the sales and stuff and you know i'm always trying to encourage people to you know save a little coin but also be in them streets to buy stuff they probably don't necessarily need or what i told y'all i'm gonna enable them y'all it is really really cold here in texas about 40 ish it might be a little less. It's freezing. Our car windshield is frozen. So I'm in my PJs all day. The kids are coming over. It's Sunday. I'm going to do a little dinner or whatever. And we just going to stay in our pajamas all day and just eat and stuff. Hold on, y'all. Let me get a sip of my iced coffee. Do y'all drink iced coffee? If you, drink, if you drink iced coffee, how do you make your iced coffee? Do you do fresh brew? Do you do like an iced coffee blend that's already pre-made? What do you add to it? This is a Starbucks cup I got years ago. I love to use this for my iced coffee. But I just start off with like a vanilla base, which is an iced coffee by the brand. I forgot the name of the brand, but I've done a reel on it before. And then I add a syrup, a flavored syrup in like a coordinating creamer if you will like right now i'm drinking caramel macchiato it's so 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 good like i i really prefer to do my own iced coffee i mean i go to starbucks here and there not often 
But I love to do my own. But enough of that. I got really, really parts. You never know, like brush your teeth early, early in the morning. Your mouth is like just starched, dry. Like I drink water afterwards just to just hydrate myself. But my mouth still was just like, okay, enough of that. Plus I take medication. So that probably could be the reason why my mouth is really, really dry. Okay, so the next item is items from the at-home store. Not home good, but the at-home store. There's a difference. I share with you guys on my Pink Madame page these items, but I wanted to share it for my YouTube family. So I was able to get my hands on this cutie right here. I think I'm going to do a nutcracker theme, you guys. I know I had told you guys before. I'm not into all the things, but I think his little hat, his little hat blown because I got my silly fan on. Um, I think I'm going to do just nutcrackers because I'm just absolutely here for it. So this baby came from the at-home store and it was $14.99. He's a little chocolate guy. Now, I initially wanted the one with the little, uh, you know, you know, the pole. It had like a little diamond on it and his jacket had like white matching diamonds. But they didn't have him in the um, brown guy. So I just got this, which is still absolutely cute. But I was just more so chipping about the gold, which it's not a big deal, but I'm just sometimes OCD like that. Crazy. They're just equal crazy. So I got this cutie right here. Yeah, super, super cute. So I got him. Next from the at-home store, I just got this really light blush pink bottle breast tree. And it was $4.99. Super cute. I think this is a little overpriced. Because I'm knowing these are at the Dollar Tree. Probably not in the pink color. But I'm knowing you can get a body brush tree from the Dollar Tree. I don't know. I might be just being cheap. I don't know. But I just thought this would be cute to either add to my vanity or my coffee bar. However, I'll share with you guys once I'm done with it. Next from the at-home store, I picked up the super cute Merry Christmas sign in the blush pink color. I just thought this was cute and simple to add to my coffee bar. Well, as you, as I say, coffee cart, because it's not an actual big size um, area. And it was $6.99, but I just thought that would be cute to just to put on maybe the middle shelf or on the front of my vanity, however. Okay, that's all that I picked up from the at-home store. Um, Step Thin Ross, didn't get much. Got these really cute little nutcracker ornaments. These were $3.99. Now, I'm going to have to do a little DIY to them because they're a little funky looking. I hate to say that, but yeah, sister girl got blonde hair and it's just not giving. Plus, it's gold. Right here, if you could tell. Let me see if I can open this up right quick. It's all taped down. I should have opened it up. But if y'all could tell right here, this is the chick right here. Why she got hair on her... Ma'am, what, what is you doing? You got hormone problems? Because why is your hair right here? Why is she... My husband says it's supposed to be part of her jacket, but why did they use the same kind of hair for her... I don't know. She Sister girl looking real weird. And I'm going to have to fix her up. So I got that from Ross. And next from Ross, I found this cutie right here. Super, super, super cute. He's raw. I'm going to have the... The fun of painting him my own um, style. So he does have a gold crown. So I'll probably do like maybe silver or just all pink to make it easier for me. Um, I'm loving him. And he was very inexpensive. He was $9.99. So I don't know really much to say about him other than the fact that it's just going to test my artistic skills. So how about I ended up not planning this. Both of my nutcrackers are little drummer boys. So, they're super cute. Now, I don't know where I'm going to put this one at. But I think I'm going to put this one on my vanity. I don't know. But I'm going to share it with you guys once I'm done. You know, I'm always showing y'all something. Next, I got this super cute cup. Now, it is a soup cup. That's what it says, soup cup. I got it from Audie's about two to three weeks ago. I did share with you guys, and I'll be 100% honest, I did share with you guys at that moment once I got it, because it was going to be part of a giveaway. But I thought about it. Um, 
first let me say this this was on clearance for like two dollars and i was looking for more they had more but not in the color pink and the other color was just ugly and i keep forgetting shine you have a crowd for your your regular people um and then your pink people i should have mixed it up but i didn't because the other color was just flat out just ugly or whatever but but what I'm trying to say is that I initially picked this up for one of you guys, and I thought about it. Shine, you getting ready to do Pinkmas. You're going to get ready to do the 12 Days of Christmas. You're going to be doing a few giveaways. Make it easier on you with shipping. Like, I don't get nothing from YouTube, if you will, if I'm making sense. I don't, I don't get nothing from YouTube. Everything comes out of my pocket. I do this because I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'm just trying to give back to my subscribers. So everything is coming out of my pocket. So I was like, Sean, make it easier for you when you ship. With this, I will have to have got the special type of packaging to make sure it rides to the recipient safe. And I just didn't want to take that chance and just, and just, just be kind to my pockets you know because i still have to provide christmas gifts for my family and friends i hope you guys understand so i kept it for myself make the story short i kept it for myself and then, like i said it's a soup but i think it'll be super super cute for a hot cocoa mug what you guys think and i just absolutely love that little cable knit detail kind of reminds me of a sweater so if you think this cute and you really worn or whatever i'm so so sorry i'm a I'm just stick to things that I can mail off that will be very, very simple to mail off. And I know I don't have to worry about, oh, it did break. Did you get it safely? Whatever. So enough of that. So I believe that is all far as all the pink and Christmas stuff is concerned. So right now I want to give a special thanks to this brain. I have to pull it up because the name is kind of hard for me to pronounce. Um, I want to give a special thanks to, hold on, let me, let me get it, Per P. Vernadino. I hope I'm not butchering that, but I'll make sure I leave the name across the screen and make sure I leave all their information down below. So it's pronounced P. Vernadino. P. Vernadino, thank you guys so much for sending me out this, um, this digital voice recorder. So the company did send me out this amazing. When I tell you amazing, this is amazing. I'm very, very new to a lot of this tech stuff. But since I've been on YouTube, I've been getting kind of into it because these are actual, you know, great investments to have. So they was kind enough to send me out this digital voice recorder. And it has a lot of great quality that I love. It's 64 gigabytes plus 16 gigabytes voice recording. It is um, a magnetic voice activated record with 120, excuse me, 170 hours of capacity time, which that's just, it's just good. My husband actually messed around with it so I can get familiar with it and everything, and the sound quality of it is amazing. I kid you not. So it's a stereo recording recording file in an mp3 format high capacity recharging battery fm tuner usb storage with protection one button recording and dot matrix lcd supporting multi-language like it was like click click and start recording like it's super super amazing so i want to thank P. Bernardino, so much for sending this out to me because it's great for like a person like me, does YouTube, a student that's in college or even high school, a teacher, a professor, someone that's in the career field where they need to record their lectures. It's just really, really amazing. And like I said, the quality is so, so good. So here is how it came. And I'll make sure I leave everything down below. It came from Amazon, and it was roughly around $60. Not expensive at all, because I actually looked into getting one from Best Buy, and it was super, super expensive. So this is how it comes. It's black. It's sleek. It has it on open. So if you're recording, you know, sometimes people get freaked out when you either filming or recording. This is very compact and small, very discreet. Right here, and it does... Has a built in battery, and this is the accessories. So it comes with 
a manual, a playback headphone set right here. You know, we're all familiar with these. A charger. You know, we got a lot of these hanging around the house. And it also comes with the USB transfer device. So, super, super convenient to have all these extra accessories. And it also comes with this little strap where you can actually weave it through the top of the device to kind of, you know, keep keep up with it. So, yeah, once again, thank you, P. Bernardino, for sponsoring this portion of the video. I know that that haul was very, very small, but I hope you truly have enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Ooh, I'm showing too much, honey. But like I said, I'm comfortable, honey. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on my next one. Bye!